welcome and what a crowd we have today and thank you for being with us. Thank you for your participation and your commitment to advancing women. I don't know of too many schools that could have pulled this off like Ohio University and Cleveland State did. I don't know of too many schools that have ever even tried to do something right. like this, let alone right. have the success right. that we're enjoying today. On April 13th, the alumni associations of two universities came together in an unprecedented partnership. The Women's Leadership Symposium drew over 800 attendees to the Cleveland Public Auditorium. And I think it's a much larger event than most of the others that I've attended. They tend to be smaller and a little more focused on one topic as opposed to having a spectrum of topics. Today we're going to talk about what it takes to have those things that you wish for your daughter or your spouse or your loved one for yourself. When we talk about trying to find ways in which we can express confidence is kind of what we've typically associated with masculinity, being the boss. CEOs from businesses, a college president, you had a variety of women who all brought different experiences to the table. To see that women are in these high roles, it's very motivating, very encouraging. My name is Nicole Phillips and I am a breast cancer survivor. My whole philosophy since the diagnosis has been, if I'm gonna go through this, if I am gonna walk it, then by golly, I am going to bring hope and light and information to as many people as I can reach, as long as I can speak. What breast cancer taught me from that is that we are created with a resiliency and a strength that we don't know we have until we need to put it into practice. My mother was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 40. Just seeing that I can go and get free information, valuable information, as well as hear someone share their story, I knew I had to come in here to try to educate myself. One of my really big takeaways was supporting other women and lifting women up. You realize that you have a whole network of women that really support you and are going to look out for you. I urge you to be very aware of opportunity, and once you take hold of it, don't let anything get in your way. It's hard enough on a campus to collaborate with one department, but then to go to a campus 200 miles away really spoke a lot of you and of your team. So we enjoy tremendous success with today's program because of Ohio University. I have a deep commitment to teeing up conversations and dialogue that are provocative and intelligent. Brian and his team, combined with my wonderful team, have delivered that to you today. Be passionate. Be genuine, be hardworking, and don't ever be afraid to be great. <laughs>